Are you planning a trip to San Francisco? Or maybe you live here and you just wanna play tourist in your own city for a day. Let's talk about just a few of the things you can do here in the beautiful city of San Francisco. I'm Erin Anderson and I'm a realtor here in the San Francisco Bay Area, helping people buy and sell homes every day. San Francisco is one of the most iconic cities in the whole world. Millions of people come here every year just to see what it's all about. And some of us are lucky enough to live here all year long. Whether you're a visitor or a resident, there's a lot to do here. And we're just gonna talk about a few of them. First up on the, my list today is Chinatown. Now, Chinatown here in San Francisco is the largest Chinatown outside of Asia. And it's the oldest within North America. It's right in downtown San Francisco, just outside of the financial district actually. And it has everything you might expect from a tourist attraction, lots of restaurants and shops. Ch Chinatown in San Francisco is not just a tourist attraction. It actually has about 35,000 full-time residents. So within Chinatown here in San Francisco, there's actually multiple churches and hospitals. So you're actually visiting someone's home, a neighborhood here within San Francisco. Again, whether you're a visitor to San Francisco or someone who lives here in the Bay Area, Chinatown is it's a cool place to visit. Next up on our tour is the Salesforce Tower. This 61 story skyscraper was built in 2013, changing the iconic San Francisco skyline forever. It is now the tallest building in San Francisco. Before that, it was the Transamerica Tower. Now, when the Salesforce Tower first opened, you could take tours and take elevators up to the top. Unfortunately, since the pandemic hit, that has not been an option, but hopefully they will be bringing them back very soon. Now, within the Salesforce complex, there's also a transit center where you can catch a bus, a Muni, even Amtrak comes through there. So it's a pretty busy transit center right in the middle of San Francisco. Now, probably the coolest part of this complex is the Salesforce Park. How many skyscrapers have their own park? This park is above the transit center. So it's a rooftop park that's over five acres. To get to this park, you have to take a gondola up from the street to the park. Another pretty cool aspect, right? Now, once you get up there, there's walking trails, a coffee shop, a playground for the kids. The plant life up there is amazing. So if you're gonna be in San Francisco for a day, I encourage you to check it out. All right, the next stop on our trip is Oracle Park, home of the San Francisco Giants, the professional baseball team. So if you're visiting San Francisco between April and October and the Giants are playing a home game, I really encourage you to check it out, even if you're not a Giants fan. Would you, I mean, if you're from here, that's what you should be, right? Anyway, this is a beautiful ballpark that sits right on the San Francisco Bay. If players hit home runs into right field, they can actually hit it into the bay where boaters and kayakers, probably paddleboarders at this point, all sit waiting for a ball and scramble to get it to see who can get it first. The ballpark even has a play area for the kids and who would believe it, but the cheap seats actually have the best views in this ballpark. From the upper deck, you can see the bay and the bay bridge. And from the bleachers, you see the San Francisco skyline. Next on our list is actually just a short walk or short drive from Oracle Park. And it is the ferry building on the Embarcadero. The Embarcadero is a street that runs basically from the bay bridge all the way down past pier 39. And so you can see all the other piers along the way and pier one, is the ferry building. As you probably guessed, this is one of the stops of the ferry. This is where the ferry can drop you right into downtown San Francisco, into the financial district. But in recent years, this building has become more of an attraction than just a ferry stop. It has really great restaurants in it. We have lots of great shops. Cowgirl Creamery is in there. My favorite cheeses come from there. You all know, if you watch my videos, you all know how much I like food. There's also a really great farmer's market that happens at the ferry building on Saturday mornings. Probably one of the best I've ever been to as far as produce you can get and also ready to eat items. It's a lot of fun if you're in San Francisco on a Saturday morning. As you continue along the ferry building on the Embarcadero from the ferry building, 
You will see other cool sites like the Exploratorium. And that's a really cool attraction that kind of focuses on STEAM concepts, science, technology, engineering. The A in STEAM stands for arts. Something in math. We'll talk about that in another video. The final attraction that we're gonna talk about today is Alcatraz. Alcatraz is an island in the middle of San Francisco Bay. It was actually home to the very first lighthouse in the Western United States. But what it's most famous for is that from 1934 to 1963, it was actually a federal prison that housed the likes of Al Capone and George Machine Gun Kelly. The island sits about one and a half miles off the shore of San Francisco, and although there were escape attempts, there are no known successful attempts. So maybe some people did make it and then they were able to go into hiding really well, but as far as we know, no one successfully escaped from Alcatraz. You can tour the island. It is open most days of the week. Um, you take a ferry from Pier 33, out to the island and you are able to, they have a really cool audio tour and you can tour the cell house where the prisoners lived as well as the rest of the grounds of the island. Definitely a must do if you're in San Francisco, in my opinion. So hopefully this helped you get a game plan for a, a day in San Francisco. You could do one or more of these things if you're here for a whole day. If you're here for more than a day, there is so much to do just in the city of San Francisco. And I cover that in other videos on this channel. So be sure to check those out. If you've been to any of the places I mentioned here today, I'd love to hear what you think of them. And if there's anything you would add to what I've already said about them. If you're thinking of making a move to the San Francisco Bay Area, I'd love to be the one to help you find your next home here. So all my contact information is below. I hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day.